Let's document. Join me as we cover breast ultrasound protocols. On today's edition, documenting chest wall invasion. Another thing I'm going to look at is, is this mass invading the chest wall? I'm gonna document if it's demonstrating any sort of pectoral invasion. When cancer invades the pectoralis fascia, the mass becomes fixed to the chest wall. And note that the mass needs to invade through the pectoral fascia in order to invade the pectoralis muscle. But on ultrasound, we use the pectoralis muscle as the landmark because you can't visualize the pectoral fascia. If a mass is deep in the breast tissue and close to the pectoralis muscle, then we have the patient taken a deep breath and we watch that mass and we watch the muscle. If that mass is not invading the pectoral fascia, then that mass is going to move independently of the muscle. The muscle will move and the mass will not be fixed to the chest wall. If we can see the mass move independently of that muscle and it's not fixed, then we want to measure with our calipers the distance between the mass and the pectoralis muscle. And this is to demonstrate to the radiologist that that mass is not not fixed to the chest wall that we can see movement between them. Now, however, if that mass does not move independently of the chest wall when that patient takes a big breath in, then we want to take a close image and we want to make sure that our depth is deep enough that we can clearly see the relationship of the mass to the chest wall. And we also want to ensure that we take a color Doppler image showing the relationship of the mass to the chest wall. And then we just take our general images as well, our radial and our anti-radial pictures with and with without color Doppler, and then also take our three measurements. Let's summarize. Here's the steps for documenting pectoral invasion. You wanna take a radial image with and without measurements of the mass, and a radial image with color Doppler, an anti-radial image with and without measurements of the mass, and an anti-radial image with color Doppler. Doesn't matter what dimensions you measure your mass from, as long as you've ensured that you have all three dimensions. You want to include your length, which is a horizontal measurement, your height, which is a vertical measurement, and a width, which is a horizontal measurement. Next, you want to have your patient take a large breath and then let out the breath. While your patient is doing that, watch for movement of the mass independent from the pectoralis muscle. If the mass is fixed to the pectoralis muscle and does not move independently of the muscle when the patient breathes, then clearly communicate that on your sonographer worksheet. It's important information for your radiologist to have. If the mass is not fixed to the pectoralis muscle, then measure the distance between the mass and the pectoralis muscle. And this does two things. Number one, it communicates to your radiologist that this mass is not fixed to the pectoral fascia. And number two, it demonstrates the distance between the mass and the chest wall. Interested in more videos on ultrasound? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in for our next video on Wednesdays.